Hello and welcome to Universe Sandbox 2 Alpha 16. Yes, 16. Pretty fancy. So the first time I opened this up, the video recorder didn't exactly detect it. And Steam didn't actually tell me that there was an update. I didn't catch it downloading the update either. So I don't really know what it changed other than, well, I'm on their website now. So now I know what changed. Oh, what's going on here? Bring me over. Okay, so Z fighting was fixed. If people don't know what Z fighting is, it's probably the most annoying thing ever when creating a video game. It's when, well, Z or X and Y on a graph, if you think of it, or two dimensions, the third dimension would be Z. The computer has to calculate what's in front of the other thing to render first. Z fighting is when two things when you're super far away, seem so close together on the Z that they kind of blend together and it causes all sorts of graphical artifacting. They've completely fixed that, so that's awesome. Props to them. So, let's see if they changed anything else. Um... Hmm... You know, I wish I got that thing back where it says everything that changed. Because I can't really find much on it. But I th think it said performance increase. And I know they changed the UI a bit. Like, now this appears over here. Which I like much more than it appearing right in front of my mouse. Um, let's see if there is a bit of a performance increase. So we're serious at Earth. I was originally actually planning on comparing Universe Sandbox 1 to Universe Sandbox 2, but I'll do that later. Okay, we're gonna have to do something bigger to be able to tell. Um, yeah, there we go, that should be big enough. So as I said about a GTX 960 before, probably only one month until I get it, someone did suggest I wait for a 970, but I'm not going to wait another few months. It, If I can make better quality video sooner, I mean, and play without lag, that I don't need that much extra. It's like twice the price for a 970, so... Okay, um, you've made your point. Yes, performance increase. There is definitely a performance increase. Okay then, I'm liking this update already. Not every day you throw the moon at the earth and there's no lag. But this time, let's go a bit bigger. Earth versus Venus. Because, as we all know, this is quite a bit larger, and larger equals more lag. Okay, let's wait for the effects. There we go. None. No lag. I mean, my FPS did drop, but not enough to actually notice. Yay! That always makes me happy. lots of explosions go. So videos are going to be coming out a little bit slower now. Um, yes, going to high school. Pretty cool stuff. But that obviously means I'm going to have less time to do videos, although I'm going to get myself on some sort of a schedule. Okay, so they have made this a lot faster, which is awesome. Cool. Let's restart the simulation. Now, you guys may wonder what this launch option thing is about. It's because with DXTOR, you have to run things in DirectX for it to detect it, and pretty sure this was 
made in OpenGL. I actually prefer OpenGL for a uh, render for reasons. Well, for if you've ever researched into programming a game engine, you'd understand. Basically, Microsoft tried to make a monopoly out of DirectX, and it kind of a big mess. Um. Okay, I did not want to do that. So now they have save and load. That's another thing they added, which is pretty awesome. Oh, tutorials and lessons. Tutorials on launching objects. Ooh, I don't know how to do this. Select that <laughs> to launching object. is a way to do it. Yeah! Eat it, Mars! Mars is actually not being very affected by this. Let's just draw a canyon through it. Come on. Not much longer now. Is it disappearing? No. Okay, I think we're almost done making this huge ridge through the entire planet. Like I thought, it is actually disappearing as it spins. Definitely. Okay, bye Mars! <laughs> Alpha 16! I will say, pretty awesome. I've never gotten performance this good on this game, so... Are you serious? I could just like hurl entire planets at each other without any lag now. Hmm. Now one thing we can test, because this has always been laggy. Yeah, supernovas. Still. Not as bad, but they're still pretty bad. It's mostly because somehow they do it dynamically. I don't know how they managed to do that. Props to them. Because I remember when I shot the sun at itself at the speed of light spread out in a thin tube-like manner, which meant that it can be distorted and stretched. We. Oh god. What am I doing? Okay. So let's see if there's any new things here. Ah, the old earth and many moons. One of my favorite simulations, actually. It looks so cool with all the moons just crashing into each other. There goes those two. Oh, and that one. This game was a genius game. So, I've read some things on what I'm supposed to do for uh, what I'm doing. I'm going to say what I'm doing exactly. But, a lot of advice says I should tell you guys so that I get a little bit of a following. And what am I doing? I'm currently programming a game. It's not going terribly. It's voxel based. And it's in space. And I'm working on it having realistic physics and stuff so that you get the best of both worlds, being able to build and stuff, and also have fun with gravity and explosions, of course. But yeah, um, I will start posting dev vlogs on it as I get more and more done. Right now I'm working on voxel lighting, which is one of the most annoying things in the world. Literally. Oh, wow, the galaxies were actually destroyed this time. Oh my. Goodbye! <laughs> hmm. 
supernova close up. Yeah, I'll lag too much. Nothing between suns. Ah, darn it. You know what? I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers now. I'll just kill my computer. Let's do this. Oh, let's do this in a new simulation. Um, also, I may do a Q&A. If you guys really want one. I guess I'll make one video for questions and another one for answers. I don't know how it works. But I thought it may be cool. You guys may like it. If there's anyone still watching these. Yeah. Sadly, um, Destroy Earth has been losing views, and that got me a lot of my views, so my views have, like, halved. But, I'm sure I'll make another really popular video at some point. Just have to record a bit, edit a bit, and get lucky a bit. I'll be honest, part of it is luck. not going to lie and say it's all depending on the video. Although most of it is. Okay, so how about... Oh my. Well, those two are kind of odd, but... Um, we're gonna slow down time a lot and play. So this X, how I expected to, they'll all go towards the center but they'll hit the middle ones on the way. Like these two are going to be the first to collide. Yep, that's what I expected. Debris from that's gonna spray against all the others too. You'll see this one's probably gonna be hit by some of the stuff from the other one. And it is. So that's the beginnings. But there's a whole lot more Earths to go. So we'll see how this works. Oh! They actually did not collide in the center as much as I thought they would. They're going out to weird sides. Wow. We're gonna just be left with like one mega Earth by the time this is done. Oh my god, what's going- Oh, <laughs> what's going- Oh god, can't zoom into the explosion too far. All I can see is a whole lot of heat and debris. It's pretty bad in there. They're very unhappy planets. Because of how I evenly place them out, they actually all end up hitting each other, not just flying around randomly. Which is cool. Oh my god, this one is being attacked by two others. Actually, is that... No, that's two others. But they're all merging into one. Kind of poetic. Um, there it goes. And now there is only one... Well, two if you count them. 22 Earths. Yikes, that's quite a few. See if it gains any more mass as it goes. Now what I really want to see... Is soon now, after huge collisions, moons will form around them from all the debris. But, that hasn't really happened for me yet. <laughs> so I'm assuming it's something that will be added at some point. There, don't know if... It's just technology doesn't allow it because it would be way, it would be a lot of particles that would be needed and that would be very laggy, but I think that would be an awesome feature. I mean, technically it could happen, but just not enough act of these parks, uh, not enough of these fragments come together to, uh, do it, so... They need to be a bit more ring-like. Well, I guess the Earth just have one very close orbiting moon. 
little fragment, barely escaping him. What is- oh my god. <laughs> if you were this far away in Kerbal Space Program, you would be, um, pretty badly off. Oh, wait, that's kilometers. Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> that's 14,000 kilometers, not meters. Um, but yeah, that's pretty close. Same with that one. They almost collided there. Cool. So now that I know that this performs so much well, better than it used to, um, I can probably do a lot cooler things. Hmm. I can do some pretty evil things. Destroy the earth in some pretty creative ways. Keeping that in mind, thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you actually liked the video. And, um, goodbye. And hopefully I will come up with an awesome idea for the next video.